everyone around the world hope you're doing well today i will be doing another video and it will be an interesting one okay hi everyone so here we have a very special person and i'll just give a little bit of um info about her and she's gonna tell us a little bit more about herself today in my community here we have a very special individual she's a parent of my school carpentry nursery and she's also a part-time worker and here i'll be asking her a little bit about herself and then we'll learn about this special person and what she does so hi ma'am good afternoon yeah. and how are you today I'm good. Okay. Yes, and she's also jovial and happy. I admire her spirit. Yes, ma'am. So can you tell us your name, please? My name is Trisha David. Okay. And yes, everyone, she lives right in Cotton Tree. And here we're looking and we're seeing lots of paintings. And this is what caught my attention here. So we want to talk to Trisha about her skill. She's an artist and her artistic skill and talent. We're going to learn more about how she began her work and what she does and how she do all of these interesting things here. Yes, Trisha. So where did it all start? For a start, it started when I was a little girl. Oh, wow, you always had an interest. I, yes. <laughs> nice. Look at my father he oh. was a carpenter okay so while he come home sketching stuff mm -hmm. i used to find that a maze okay. and building stuff creating stuff with his own hands mm -hmm. that cut my attention so i said that when i grow up i want to be an artist wow so you see he will do everything in his power at that time to make sure i get the best and learn the best okay. so far By bit you start sketching yes bit by bit okay and um did you like um did any classes in this particular field or so yes i attended the er board school of art in the year 2015 to 2017. and where that is located i never really heard of that it's at joshua at the moment oh all right well they were learning that you learned the skill okay um so like i see these special things it's not just paper you're using that's amazing like what is this really that you draw on here well i start off here on paper okay. yes let's take a look here this is a sketch of an idea of what i had wanted to do mm -hmm. which is mostly about a uh, person coming out from a relationship a heartbroken relationship okay and smiling because she's in a relationship that is more comfortable and more promising okay. as you can see the yes. tears the way of mm -hmm. flowing mm -hmm. the heart the hand with the wow. engagement ring a smile on her face and there's a sunshine okay so that tells mm -hmm. from heartbreak into nice Try. nice so do you think up of all these that you want to sketch beforehand no not majority <laughs> okay sometimes it just comes sit down just mm -hmm. depends on how i feel mm -hmm. and just come up here okay and i see you like have a team here so all these paintings you have a deeper meaning behind of them like this one for instance you just explain you're just not seeing a girl there you're seeing all these hidden emotions and um and expressions right yes yes yeah, so each one of your painting actually has one of that right like that one caught my attention there look at that river you're just looking at it there and you're seeing just the river flowing and i was observing and then when i looked closer Tell us a little bit about that one. What's the meaning behind of that one? This painting is a whole lot of meaning in okay. one. Wow. Uh, this talks about a girl got engaged. Mm -hmm. And before she got engaged, the relationship was going smoothly. Mm -hmm. After the engagement, the relationship was a bit ups and downs. Okay. So coming down to the marriage, she dreamed about this wonderful life of mar being married. Okay. So on a couple of days before the wedding date, mm -hmm. the, she called off the wedding because she kind of be in a broken relationship 
and still go ahead with the marriage. The marriage is supposed to be something you'd be happy about. That is yes. what the flowers is for, the joy. Wow. And the tears that is flowing there is to say that how she is getting to know this person for a while after accepting a proposal this relationship just crumbling as it going so the tears that she put on there no matter how much she tried to come forward or come to um reconcile with her partner he doesn't give a listening ear so that is the tears that is flowing there so that is actually breaking her off from the relationship and questioning herself is this for me or is this not for me so i named this picture river of pain because it's a okay. lot of yes yes emotions there happiness sadness mm -hmm. abuse everything wow that is so amazing like you're just having a painting and so many deeper meanings behind of that i love it yes and that may, that right there says a lot like when you're doing this you're not just sitting and just painting right no you're just all of these the, the emotion you're do, you're having the feelings you're having all these expressions and then you're putting it in one piece yes wow yes and i see you have a few more there but tell us first like what is that really that you use to paint on what is that called but this what i painted on here is our canvas okay is it readily available or are you just making some it? are ready made and some you can just buy the canvas and just make a frame and okay create a canvas. oh wow nice and paint the paint itself like it is so different like is it a special paint you use yes i use emulsion paint the reason why that's a water base okay mm -hmm. the reason why i actually more comfortable using that type of paint okay more than the rest of um paints mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and um like when you started how long actually a painting takes Maybe you can tell us a little, like when you start. When I start, depends on the mood. I finish within a day. Okay. And mm -hmm, it depends. Mm -hmm. I finish within a week, sometimes a month. Okay. But yes. for our uh, longest is a month. Okay. Okay. Yes. And um, like we have here sketches and um, Trisha took out some cloth and she has a team. Like... Um, She's going to tell us a little bit about her team. She came up with that actually. And all these painting here, she has her own theme behind of all of this. So maybe you can tell us how you came up with that team. <laughs> well, so far, how I came up with the team in life, well, when I um, went to school, be able to school art, you had to come up with a team to work okay. with. Okay. So my team, like, I base it on my life. Yes. So I say with the different emotions, I just come up with the team, mm -hmm. emotions of life. Wow. We talk about different emotions and different stage, how nice. we move from one place to mm -hmm. the next. So that's how come I still continue in the trade to True. go down mm -hmm. with emotions of life. Yes, yes. I can see indeed there are different kinds of emotion depicting on each of these pictures here. And... Um, you also have some sketches here i see like you said sometimes you draw you do sketches here as well let's look at uh, some of them here uh, this and is paintings from wow. school what we have to do okay nice part of the course okay so these are long lasting i see it didn't fade imagine how many years right yes. to me it looks brighter now for some <laughs> reason it is so natural and unique right yes. it doesn't wash us off too no no wow so there guys we are seeing it's a special kind of paint and this alone i think if you you can frame this right yes and this will be forever this beautiful is wow. a different um Nice. This is what they call charcoal pencil. Okay. Is like a chunk, mm -hmm. but once it be careful, it's gonna. Okay. Nice. 
so everyone, I, I will say for sure I know Nyam Sram. I saw a guy in front of Demico once. I was telling Trisha, and believe me, I never know that right in our community here, right in Cotton Tree Region Five, we have such a skillful and talented person right in our midst here. And in Georgetown, even we would see persons so artistic. But Trisha here has this hidden talent, and wow, I want everyone to know of her talent right here. You know, because this right here has meaning, greater meaning of behind. And we can see right now, I um, one of her paintings, she's going to show us a little bit. She started recently, and she's going to tell us what this one is going to be about, and maybe she can do a little bit of the painting right here and we have a close-up view and a first-hand experience of her painting right so let's stay tuned and we will see as well another one okay. yes everyone so here Trisha is gonna be doing a little bit of real life painting here we just saw her work but actually, I asked her to do that for me so we can actually see how she go about doing her painting. And I am looking here closely and I'm seeing paints I've never seen before. So, Trisha, where, um, these are the paints you're talking about, right? It's a special kind. Yes, this and is what they call acrylic. Oh, okay. And did you, like, purchase them right here? Are they, I've never really seen paints like this. Some you can purchase right here and some you have to order. them. Okay. So it depends wow. on the type you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You are. Yes, and I'm seeing it mark artists on top there, and you have the different colors. You have your special. I know in the movies you do see this. <laughs> <laughs> I've never. This is so fascinating. This platter right here, where you're putting all your different colors. Yeah, this is what they call canvas. Nice. <laughs> okay. Nice. And then you have all your different brushes. Here, guys, you can see all her different brushes here. My goodness, I've never seen different kind. I know at school, yes, we use normal paint brush, but I guess each one has a different purpose, right? Each one, the, the bigger, from smallest to the largest. Okay. Depends on how big is the painting and what you're painting and the details. Look at that. And they're different kind actually. They have the same artist, the same name actually, right? Yes. It is different brushes. Some is water brush, water color brush, some can be um acrylic. Okay. So this one is mm -hmm. artist's loaf number twelve. Mm -hmm. There's a the biggest brush. Okay. It reminds so me of the fun. eyeshadow makeup set. It's like when you do that, right? Yeah. Each one has a different purpose. That's the first thing that comes to mind here. Look at that. And then now you're seeing artists is something. Wow, each brush has a meaning and used for a different purpose. So at school, did they tell you that? Like each number and so on, which brushes for what and so on? So far when in school, you learn to use the different type of brush, the different size to do different details. Okay. And for example, on this painting, for the flowers, um, I use number three. Okay. And number two and number one. Wow. For the sky, I use the number 12 brush. The sky and the river fall. Using number twelve, so different, different uh, brush, yes, different technique. Okay, different. Wow, nice, nice, lovely. Okay, so this painting that you're gonna be doing here, you wanna tell us a little bit about what it's gonna be about? Is explaining to the world that in everything is a success and no matter what people do or say that is this strong dark line with all the negative people and i'm gonna put on eagle because why I choose the eagle eagle is the strongest bird in all the bird life wow. species so i'm gonna put nice. an eagle to depict that is success 
So what I'm gonna um, do is trying to put to this painting so that I'll, no matter what people say or do or tell you, don't listen to them. Keep all the negativity and you're gonna be successful. And when you're flying high, they're gonna be looking up to you. Wow, So look at that's that. why I choose the eagle, because nice, it's strong and mighty. Nice. Yes, and I'm saying this canvas is the bigger one, the biggest one actually, yes. right? <laughs> yes, so this is bigger and better, I guess. So um, she's going to be doing a little bit of it and we will see in a minute. So here Trisha says she has her, she puts her bits and pieces together to create her um, image and she's using chalk as well that will um, be able to give detail before start painting. So this is just an outline so far to draw an eagle. You deserve it's not a perfect pitch. As I go on it will be more outstanding. But the thing is you have to start with the background first always as it taught us. This is really nice. I can see you're not scared in any way. No. <laughs> You've done this numerous <laughs> times. Huh? Like me. Wow. I said, oh my God, I got to erase. I'm going wrong. <laughs> if you serve as erase, you get a check. Yes. Can we go? Yes. So, and then you paint that's just the outline that of the okay, eagle. Great. Nice. So, I'm now going to do the background mm -hmm. of what I wanted. Yeah. Okay. This will be like a desert size. So, this will be like rocks and hills and okay the trees mm -hmm. is going to start from the background go up nice. because as it progress from all the negative mm -hmm. coming up to the positive nice look at that and the background the sky okay nice. so here i wanted the uh, some deep and some blue um light sky mm -hmm. so Okay. And it's so important you have to know what is it that you want, right? So you just yes. start putting there. You have that image in your head already. Well, sometimes the, just the brush does the work. Okay. For me. Nice. When it comes to blending, I have my own technique okay. that I use to blend. Can you paint in there so relaxing, like? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I can tell how you're feeling within. It's so relaxing, right? It takes all the stress away. Nice. I love it. So does it dry instantly or it takes, like, how long does it take to dry, like? Depends on how much paint I put. Okay. I dry right away. Mm -hmm. Sometimes not. Okay. I like work with it just so thick because mm -hmm. for me, I paint better when it's thick mm -hmm. than thin. Okay.
trees there. <laughs> and I was wondering, Trisha is just putting green all over there now. <laughs> I'm putting some wrong, wrong things. And I'm looking now and I'm like, wow, I'm amazed now. <laughs> this, she knew beforehand she's going to do a whole forest. And you ask her what she's doing. She knew beforehand she's doing a whole forest of trees. And you can, you can see like you're imagining yourself walking through those forests there. Right? This is amazing. So she's gonna continue at another time. I must thank her so much for doing this. This is extreme and this is very beautiful. Yes. And we heard what it's gonna entail and we know it's deeper meaning behind of this painting right here. Right, so Trisha, thank you so much. And I think persons from now on will appreciate persons painting and paintings itself. To see what happened here today and hearing all about these paintings we can we've learned some I personally learned so much thank you thank you so much for all and I wish you all the best in the future continue to do what you love and <laughs> show the world what you give that special talent thank right you. <laughs> you're welcome yes this is great